morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Uh, what I can talk about, though, is something that I know a lot about. And then we're talking about the scattered showers this morning, and it's all because of this monsoonal moisture. It was a nice treat to wake up to that pitter patter of the rain. We're looking at a bit of a lull right now across the Southland, depending on where you live, but we'll continue to see a little bit more of those showers as we head into the rest of the morning. Downtown LA, you could see covered with the gray skies. Temperatures currently in the upper 60s, visibility down to about seven miles. But you could see just how much of that moisture continues to push in, and that's because right now I've been saying this all morning. Our atmosphere is very juicy because of the way that humidity continues to pour in. It's bringing in some unstable air. So when thunder roars, head indoors because we could see lightning associated with the th uh, thunder. And then we're also looking at much more of that thunder and lightning right across the Indio Valley this morning where we had those flash flood warning still in place at least for less than 15 minutes and then it should start to expire. But a lot of what we're seeing right now is coming in from the southwest. So we're getting a bit of a lull, as I mentioned, in the San Fernando Valley and all that moderate rain that we did see pushing into the South Bay and also into South LA and then toward the Downey area has sort of uh, also relaxed a little bit. But we're still seeing some rain here and there, but the roadways are very wet. So give yourself some extra time this morning. The Beaumont area looking at some moderate rain at the moment. Flash flood continues until 8 p.m tonight. That means all the areas here in green. We could see more scattered showers as we head into the afternoon as more of that daytime heating mixes in with that unstable air and that could trigger more of those isolated thunderstorms and showers. As I mentioned, 630 is the time that this flash flood watch should flash flood warning that is for the Indio Valley for the Palm Springs area should start to lift. Palm Springs under very humid conditions. You can see that sad face right there and the Corona also looking at humidity increasing everywhere else with just a little bit muggy for our liking because of the way this high pressure system System is pushing in that monsoonal flow. The good news is by tomorrow, the high pressure system starts to wobble a, a little bit more to the east, and that's going to bring in more of that dry air that we're used to. Not only are we looking at more of the dry air, but more sunshine, and the heat continues to simmer as we head into the rest of the week. Today, because of that humidity and those thunderstorms and showers picking up, our temperatures are a little cooler than what we're going to be dealing with tomorrow. So a mix of 60s, 70s, 80s. By tomorrow, we're looking at 70s, 80s, 90s, and then by Wednesday, triple digits arriving for a lot of our inland communities and then we pretty much stay well above average for the rest of the week with the possibility of more monsoonal flow returning toward the end of the week as well. Back to you guys.